WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday, two hours left to go in the trading week. And we got markets in negative territory, been hanging here most of the day. S&P is negative by 26 points, trading at 27.64. We got the Dow off 235, trading at 24,934. NASDAQ negative 74 points, trading at 74.92. Quite a day to the upside for gold, up $17.30 trading at 1309.60. On the flip side of that, oil to the downside, extending the losses we had yesterday. As we speak, down 261 with a 53 handle on oil, trading 53.98. Notes and bonds, higher price, lower yield. 10-year up 18 ticks, 126.08. 30-year up a full point and five ticks, 154.07 in that dollar index. Trading lower off of 348 ticks at 97.165. We'll start it off. Let's jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. Excuse me. Session lows actually right after the market opened for the Dow. 24,851. We trade all the way up to a high of 24,987. Pull back a bit. 24,919 in the Dow. NASDAQ 100 trading at 71.69. Intraday lows also made just after the opening bell of 71.34, right up where we were overnight for the lows as well in the NASDAQ 100. S&P is trading at 27.61, been bouncing around a bit today. Again, lows made just after the opening bell of 27.51, so you're up about 10 points from that level. Crude oil, there you go, 53.99. Quite an extension. We'll just back this up two days, not that long ago. You go to Thursday morning, as in yesterday morning, we were trading up at almost 59.64. You're talking about almost $6 in the price accrued from yesterday morning. Watch out. Gold contract to the upside reached a high of 1311.85, trading at 1309.62. And the euro US dollar with some volatility as well, trading at 111.68. In terms of what else you have happening out there in the market, jump it over to the VIX. We saw a VIX spike this morning as fear was at its highest, 1972. From there, the markets rebounded a bit. And speaking of rebounds, so gap, I guess it could be worse, right? Down 10% on the day. But man, we were down at about $17 at one point. You traded at 1845 earnings last night. Gap struggling, as is Old Navy, one of their brands as well. Stay tuned, folks. Tom O'Brien coming up live for, at 3 o'clock to wrap up this week. Have a great Friday.